If you are a small business owner looking to get clients from YouTube, this video is for you. Most small business owners hate the idea of cold calling and door knocking or even spending thousands of dollars on trade shows. So the best way to actually get clients is through attraction marketing, which means that the clients find you and contact you. This is why marketing your business on YouTube is a great marketing strategy. So here are three steps to making effective YouTube marketing videos that are going to get clients to your business on autopilot. But before we get into it, as always, if you have not subscribed and you are a small business owner and you're looking to market your business online, make sure you hit that subscribe button and notification bell so that you know when I release new videos. All right, let's get into it. Step number one is to solve their problem. I see so many business owners making the mistake of making YouTube videos that are essentially infomercials for their business. The secret is nobody cares. Nobody cares about you. They want to know what's in it for them. How can you help them? How can you solve this burning problem? And your strategy is to make videos about solving that problem. All right. So for example, let's say that you are a divorce lawyer and you know that your ideal client is out there looking for things like who gets custody of the children. So they might actually go into Google and type that in. What you want to do is make a YouTube video about who gets the custody of the children and what all the rules and regulations are around that. And then within the video, you want to let them know how you can help them. Okay. So let me give you an example of what not to do. All right. So I'm Lisa, the lawyer. Hi, my name is Lisa and I've been a lawyer for 10 years and I specialize in family and divorce law. My business is at 21 Young Street. Nobody cares about you, Lisa. What they want to know is how you're going to solve their problem. So you want to make sure that you get into that within the first 30 seconds, I would say even 10 seconds, but make sure that you start talking about how you are solving their problem. So here's an example of what to do. Hi, my name is Lisa and I'm a divorce lawyer. Are you worried about who's going to get custody of your children once you file for divorce? Well, here is what you need to know. Do you see the difference? First one was infomercial. Second one is all about benefiting the client. So once you've been able to somewhat solve their problem and they see that you're knowledgeable, they're going to want to contact you. And that brings me to my next step, which is having a call to action within your video. So again, you've intrigued them. You've answered an important question and now you want to let them know how to contact you. There are three different ways to do this. Number one, you definitely want to have your information in the description section of your YouTube channel. The best way is to actually have your email address within your YouTube video. So edit it within your YouTube video and also put it in your description. So if your email address is something complicated uh, or hard to spell or anything like that, you want to make sure that you let them know that there's going to be a link in the description below or you can leave your phone number or whatever way that they can contact you. So you can say something like, if you're looking for more help or information, we can schedule a free consultation and the way to reach me is X, Y, and Z. And if you really want to do it the right way, I would do both. So put the email within the video itself and also in the description. So they have both options. Step number three is to get them to opt in. So sometimes when they're first searching for that information, they may not be ready to make any kind of decisions. They're kind of in the early stages. So you want to get them to opt into your email list. So that way you can continue to nurture them by notifying them of your new videos, some new information you have, any helpful resources. Resources. So the way to do this is to give them some sort of freebie in exchange for their email. And the best way to do that is through a landing page. But if you don't want to get techie and you want to just kind of do a quick exchange, you can tell them to contact you for this freebie. Um, but again, the best way is to actually have a proper opt-in and then you could just put a link in the description below. They can go to the opt-in. So let's go back to the example of the lawyer. So something that would be helpful that's relatable to your video would be an ebook on how to tell your children that you're getting a divorce. So as the lawyer, you can say to get my free ebook on how to tell your children that you're getting a divorce, just click the link in the description below and I'll send you that ebook right away. That way you have their email and you can maybe email them for the next couple of weeks or the next couple of months. And when they are actually ready to contact you, your contact information is going to be in your email and they'll know how to reach you. Otherwise they may forget about you. They might start searching for other lawyers. So you always want to be top of mind. 
So if you follow these steps and you make quality videos and you use the proper strategy on YouTube, you will get a flow of clients coming to you. And on this channel, you will find everything that you need to know on how to make these powerful marketing videos. So again, if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you are notified when I release the next video. If you found this video helpful, make sure you hit that like button. And for more marketing videos on how to market your business online, check out these videos right here and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.